This video will cover the parts of an analytical report, including the introduction, data, analysis, and results and conclusion. The introduction should provide a concise summary of the project, including the problem faced, the type of data gathered, and the highlights of the solution. The data section should go into detail about the data used to complete the project. Variables and other technical terms should be defined well, and example values should be listed and interpreted. Also, this section should mention any abnormalities in the data, such as missing values, and discuss the steps that were taken to clean and prepare the data for analysis. In the analysis section, the report should cover the thought process behind the analysis, including any output and data visualizations that are pertinent. Methods that are used should be introduced, along with a brief description for the reasons they were used, and possibly including references to external sources for further study. Care should be taken to not include every possible analysis, as this can provide information overload to the audience. Insignificant or less significant findings can be briefly summarized, leaving the majority of content in this section to focus on the most important findings. The results and conclusions section should summarize the results of the analysis and, if applicable, provide specific recommendations on a course of action. Because the analysis section covered most of the information gleaned from the data, the results and conclusions should mostly just apply that information towards a goal or a further course of study. Combined, the introduction, data analysis, and results and conclusion sections of an analytical report, delivered succinctly and clearly by an effective business analyst, can provide useful and pertinent information to drive business improvement. This concludes our video on writing analytical reports. Today we covered the parts of a report, including the introduction, data, analysis, and results and conclusion.